Thank you, Casey, and thank you for the opportunity. So I'm presenting on behalf of a, a team, team between uh, Kremlin Graduate University and University of Kansas, my colleagues, Chining Cheng. He is actually on the Zoom too. So he will help with answering questions if you have some burning question that you are ask, uh, asking. Uh, so uh, our project focus on the electronic mentoring among uh, engineering graduate students during the COVID-19 pandemic. And it was funded by the uh, NSF rapid program as many other presenters here. So today I'm gonna just uh, focus on a subset of the study that we conducted back in June. So we are focusing on 566 engineering graduate student sample in, in our study. Uh, it's part of the national study of STEM faculty and students. We do have like more than 1000 faculty uh, samples and, and 3000 undergraduate students. So we are still digging into the data. It is cross-sectional and we are thinking about uh, to do a, a follow-up survey and interview in the spring to see uh, what's going on. So, uh, so the sample was diverse. Uh, one thing is, uh, it, it was a difficult time. We will try to get more minority students, but at least we get about 14% of Black, Hispanic, and Native American students. And in terms of gender or disability, or uh, SES is kind of like uh, quite diverse samples that we have here. Okay. So first, we're gonna present three set of uh, student outcome that we care about. First, uh, we, we uh, in the spring, at least a quarter of student, uh, graduate student, say that uh, they might be uh, delayed their graduations due to the pandemic. And we saw that uh, PhD students tend to uh, report higher level of that, uh, higher rates and low SES uh, compared to uh, master student. And in terms of job search, uh, self efficacy or confident in finding a job that uh, they are prepared for or they are qualified for, uh, we see a, uh, overall across the board, uh, there's a decline in the confidence. And what is concerning here is uh, female student, low socioeconomic status student, student with disability, they all have, uh, they reported a significant lower level of uh, all these indicators. And then another set of indicators, mental health, we use the same set of uh, depression and anxiety indicator used by US Census. Uh, there's a, a household pulse, a pulse survey conducted in uh, from April to July. We are able to compare our sample to the general population. So good news is our graduate student sample, uh, they, they uh, uh, report better than the general population because they are not the frontline workers or they uh, less likely come from low, low income family or what. But within this group, again, underrepresented group student, uh, female low SES and student with disability and, and interna international student tend to report higher level of those mental health issues. So this is something that we would like to highlight here. So our focus is can e-mentoring address some of these challenges? So uh, one pattern that we saw, and I think this is common sense, we know during the pandemic, uh, most communication are being on video conferencing or email. So it's more likely that, and a fewer, much fewer uh, hours in face-to-face -face, and it makes sense. So this speak to the, uh, the experience that we have uh, in academia too. So uh, we conduct, uh, we collect a lot of uh, survey skills indicator that we, are, uh, we perform uh, structural equation modeling here to look at the relationship across different uh, indicator. So what we found here is e-mentoring uh, frequency predict both instrumental support and uh, psychosocial support from the mentor. So instrumental support tends to be like their mentor help them to complete their uh, assignment or their writing or presentations more instrumental, uh, more technical. And psychosocial support is more about address their concern, anxiety, talk about their future career options, something like that. So we see that uh, the more frequent they interact, even through in electronic uh, uh, platform would have positive uh, impact. And those lead to higher level of mentoring satisfaction and also lead to more positive outcome that I just mentioned uh, 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 the, in the past few slides. And we also look at how e-mentoring attitude would predict e-mentoring frequency too. So we ask them whether they think uh, e-mentoring uh, through email or video conferencing would be more effective or equally effective as face-to-face. -face. So those who have more positive, uh, I mean, experience or perception of e-mentoring, they tend to interact more too. And I think this is, uh, I mean, uh, it's predicted by the theory. So, and lastly, uh, uh, Nick uh, Chin, uh, Chining Chang, my colleagues here, uh, his area is 
in individual uh, development plan. So we were interested in those graduate students who, who have uh, IDP before pandemic, do they interact more with their mentor? Indeed, we found that that is the case. Among our sample, there are about 30% of the students, they, uh, they say that they have IDP with their current mentor. And so this finding is very important. That means that uh, uh, infrastructure program like this before a crisis like pandemic or any other crisis would uh, facilitate or promote positive uh, interaction and outcome when we, we uh, hit any, uh, we have any crisis coming up. So lastly, we want to talk about this is that uh, mentoring while social distancing is challenging because in our sample, uh, in our study, both from faculty and student, generally they think face-to-face -face is still more effective than e-communication. Back then, this is more June. And we hope to see this attitude will change. Now they are being forced to do a lot of e-communication. Probably they, 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 they are getting used to it. But even uh, with the sample that we have from June, uh, about 25 to 50 percent of faculty and, and students, they, be, they believe that uh, e-communication e could be uh, equally effective as face-to-face -face in certain areas, including like especially like helping them in terms of writing skills or preparing their uh, job uh, application, something like that. So this is something that promising that uh, important. So with that, I want to thank you and thanks for the opportunity. Yeah.